stop what you're doing because there's a new no-code platform in town. Why should you care? Well, it's got AI. It's got code combined with no-code and it even has an app marketplace where you can create components and sell them to earn money. It's called Wix Studio, and it's by the same team that created EditorX. It's the no-code platform I've been using on this channel for the past year to convert all my designs from mid-journey, ones that I've created myself, ones that AI have generated, and turn them into actual websites. So how is it different from EditorX? Well, Wix Studio does a number of things. It's basically the next level of EditorX. This means that they've incorporated things like actual code in their no-code platform. They've allowed you to create components that are connected directly to things like Angular or React, and then reuse them across all different types of sites, even sell them on an app marketplace, which I'll get into shortly. But what I wanted to do is showcase what Wix Studio actually looks like. Here's the landing page. It's not technically out just yet, but there is a wait list. So if you want to access it, just head to the top right link over here and fill out the details on the left here to get access. Now, in terms of the website itself, it does give you a little bit of information about what it is and what it does. So the first thing is obviously it's a no-code platform. This is something that I've been working with a lot recently, simply because it makes web design much easier. But there are differences now. Like for example, you can do CSS editing straight in here. So it looks like there's a bit of a developer section here and you can edit JS, you can edit CSS and you can add finally things like a glass morphism. And this was actually kind of something I had to hack in the past if I wanted to work. And now the fact that you can add CSS directly in, well, that'll make life a lot easier. On top of that, it looks like there is changes to how it does responsive design. So apparently the responsive design now just works a lot easier. It's going to have things that scale automatically. So creating breakpoints might not be as necessary in the future, which could be interesting to see. There is also AI. Of course, there's AI. Everything now has AI. Um, so it looks like you can start creating and generating content using AI features. Um, I'll be looking forward to testing this out. It looks like it automatically generates a responsive design doing this. That could be really cool. This is kind of the part that I'm really excited about. And it's the fact that you can now build widgets inside of the platform. This basically means that you could create just a small thing like a countdown timer or this QR generator or anything really. And then you can essentially hack them into like a piece of code or like an app and then put them on a different website. You can sell them. You can have a look at your revenue of how they're making. It's basically like a new avenue, like an app market like you have for the iPhone, I guess, but now for no-code websites. So I think that'll be really interesting to see. And if it's something that you're looking to do to make money, then this could be a good way to start. And there's this, code. Code inside of a no-code platform. I actually wanna have a look at what this means because from what it looks like, you can have your VS code connected to Wix Studio and it means you can write your CSS here inside of the IDE, or you can even just plug it into VS Code and then have your components and everything in there. And this basically is combining that code and no code, which is I'm probably going to be the most excited about. On top of that, it's connecting the code to AI. So for example, if you want to generate a countdown on your website, you literally just say, I need a countdown for it. And I'll generate the code that you use. And then you can plug that code into the no coding platform and generate that countdown. And I guess this is it here on the right hand side. And then you can sell this piece of code to other people and start making money. Like this will be very interesting. If people are looking for like a jobs or work, they can just start doing this as like a full-time gig. Or you could start making client interactions a lot easier as well if you can do it this way. And it looks like this is all also part of Wix Headless, which again is being able to use the APIs from Wix to build things like e-commerce, bookings, events. And then you've got your code segments here. They can turn into components that you plug into Angular or JS or React. So all of this is showing that Wix is actually quite serious about connecting and implementing developers into their platforms now. Now I know this might not have been something that they've done in the past as much, but I can definitely see a lot of change here. And so this is just the beginning of what Wix Studio is looking like, but it definitely is bridging the gap between how they used to do stuff 
So I'm going to be excited to get my hands on this and test it out. Uh, I think there is probably going to be a lot more to it. I'm especially excited about the AI tools because I did see that they can be used to create things like, for example, code snippets. So like this one here, generate a piece of code to allow filtering for store products by name and price. And it just gives you the piece of code to do that. Normally, I'd have to maybe just play around with that in if I was using something different, like I'd have to test and research, check Stack Overflow just to like try and figure this out. And now it's just there. It's just generated by AI and it's code. So I can customize this too. It's not just like using pre-made components. It's you can have custom components now. Create images with AI and plug them straight in. So you could have icons, illustrations, photos, um, just mockups. We've got, let's see, the content that you create with AI. So you can, yes, you can have an AI text generator. This is basically ChatGPT inside of Wix Studio. So that's cool as well. And videos. Okay, so you can create videos here. I think, are these with AI as well? If they are, well, that's cool as well. Because I'm going to be doing a video in the future about using AI to generate videos. And I'm guessing this is just the beginning too of all the integrations of AI. So what do you guys think? Do you like building websites using no code or do you like writing a bit of code or do you want to have a little bit of both? It'll be interesting to see how Wix Studio performs in the future, but hopefully this gives you some good first impressions.